Okay, good day mga kafalo. Today we're going to discuss the customer value journey. The uh, this is an in-depth discussion. For all we know, I know and I believe that you are aware of the basic sales funnel stages, which is the awareness, the consideration, and the conversion. This is different because this is a complete journey. Um, with the help of digital marketer as they provide this uh, customer value journey roadmap. Okay, so we now proceed. Okay, so basically this is the whole uh, stages of the customer value journey. You have the aware stage, engage, subscribe, convert, excite, ascend, advocate, and promote stage. Okay, so ano-ano ba Ano-ano ba ang mga nakapaloob sa bawat stages na to? Okay. So, we'll begin first with the aware stage. For the awareness stage, so, in here, ano, uh, we need to tell our visitors that we exist. Okay, this is just uh, the stage where we uh, introduce ourselves to the market. Bakit tayo nag-start ng business na ganito? Or bakit kayo naging freelancers? What are your goals? Just basically uh, letting them aware that you actually exist in the marketplace. So, yun ang awareness stage. No selling muna. Kafalo. Okay? Wala munang bentahan. No? We have to follow the three stages. Okay. So, let them aware that there is a problem. One more thing. Na you are going to present to them na meron sila mga ganitong klaseng problema. Na pero pahapyaw lang udel pahapyaw lang din ulit and no selling that you have a solution for it okay so tugtungan mo na rin no sabayan mo na rin na you are there to help them okay so how do how do we do it so build and optimize your profile on your social media platform okay so we are not talking about facebook business page only here no to follow or other across uh, all other social media platform na sa tingin ninyong marami kayong pwedeng maging audience or visitors, dun kayo mag-establish, okay? Or mag build and as well as optimize. So, ano ba itong optimize? So, when we say optimi optimize or optimization, aayusin nyo lang naman ka-follow yung inyong social media platform wherein i-complete nyo lang yung mga profile uh, requirements ninyo, like yung cover photo, like yung uh, contact details, etc. So, kailangan kumpleto yon Hindi dapat siya kulang-kulang. <coughs> okay. So, in this stage, you can also do referrals para mas makilala kayo. Like, you have uh, uh, tell your friends, your acquaintances, that you have this kind of business. Okay? You you need to uh, have an organic o kumbaga tipong pag mag-search sila sa Google, you can be finder. Uh, you can do that by optimizing your profile. Okay? So, buying traffic and running an ads. So, itong mga running an ads ito, like ito yung mga sponsored pages. So, ito yung actually ginagawa ko. Ito yung expertise ko. Like yung FB ads na yung mga sponsored page makikita nyo sa inyong mga Facebook page na, na mag appear That's an ads. Okay? So, so, the awareness stage is where prospect or stranger sees an ad, sees you in an ad, finds you in search, hears about you via referral. So, that's the awareness stage. At least aware na sila with this kind of problem, you can help them. Okay. Now, we go to the engage stage. So, in the engage stage, creating relevant and valuable content. Okay. So, that your customers or your visitors will engage. Okay. Ibig sabihin, makikipag, uh, kumbaga makikiayon sila. No? They will interact with all your posts. So, optimizing your content for each channel is very, very important as well. Like, yung branding ng mga images mo, okay, yung, yung the way you post, okay, yung may mga suguro, meron ka ng mga contact details doon at the same time. So, how do we do it? Encourage engagement, like comments, share, and clicks. So, please also, uh, with your post, ko na rin, parang pakiusapan mo na rin sila or encourage them to comment okay or to give their comments okay and also i-share na rin nila kung they see it valuable to them okay 
baka it will also be viable to other people. Okay? So, clicks at the same time. Okay? So, do not forget to have your call to action in your engagement post in, or engagement stage. So, ano nga ba tong CTA o tinatawag natin call to action? So, eto lang naman yung mga tipong may message ka sa bandang last na you will push them to click on that link. Either pupunta siya sa isang website, mag-download siya ng copy, or anything that will uh, um, that will encourage them to take action. Okay, so yun yung mga CTA. Para yung iba may button, yung iba may link lang naman doon sa post nila. So, also, try to consider making a video because according to many research, no, ang mga visitors natin would really engage if you create a valuable video. Okay? So, anything that would give them value to their current status right now. Okay, so that's the engaged stage where prospect uh, reads a blog post, engages on social media, watches a video, and etc. Now we proceed to the subscribe stage. So the, the subscribe stage, we do this to have the ability to follow up. Okay, so ginagawa natin yung subscribe stage, but before that, ano nga ba yung subscribe stage? Ito lang naman yung, yung in exchange of your valuable cost. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, they will, ano, they will uh, in exchange of their value, in exchange of their value, valuable cost, they will provide you yung mga contact details nila. So that meron kang ability to follow up them. Okay, so incorporating lead magnet campaign at the same time. And use your copy to generate interest. Okay, so pag interesado sila, uh, feeling nila merong value na ibigay sa kanila. Parang na-convince mo na sila. Okay, so they will provide you your, provide, uh, they will provide you your mga contact details nila. So how, how do we do it? So you can do this by uh, making a webinar. So sa webinar kasi, you need to register. So you can get their contact details and get it content and registering a demo. Okay, so siguro kung if you're a service provider, yung free trial mo na bibigay mo sa kanila, you need to uh, have them register because this is a demo uh, demonstration of your service or your product. Pwede rin naman na meron kang demo, uh, demo presentation, so you can also uh, help them register. Okay, so that's the subscribe page where prospects opts in to receive gated content link. Okay? Now we go now to convert stage. Okay, so okay, so etong convert stage is where your subscriber or your customer, your visitors make a micro commitment. Ibig sabihin, <coughs> di, hindi pa siya naka full blast na bumibili sa yon. Parang trial lang muna. Subukan ko nga kung okay. Ara ganun, sa so micro commitment. Okay, so our prospect make a small purchases. Uh, siguro ano lang muna isang package lang muna bibiling ko or siguro isang piraso lang muna para matry okay so how do we do it attending in a webinar uh, so <coughs> kafalo no so hindi lang yung paglalabas ng pera or uh, hindi lang yung pag purchase ng product natin is that we can consider is a convert stage actually if they invest their time uh in your webinar example, that's actually a micro commitment. That's actually a convert stage. Okay, so kasi into that webinar, you can also actually you can offer your products na rin at the same time. Well, anyway, at least again, invest sila, na hook mo sila. Meron ka ng uh, meron ka ng um, 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 later on valued customer, no? If they're in investor time. Time is very important. Kafalo. Ha? Remember that. Alam naman natin that yun. So, offer to require, irresistible, low price offer. So, yun nga. Okay? Para lang matry muna nila. In offer them by one take one, etc. No? Depende sa in-offer niyo. <coughs> okay. Sorry. So, the converse stage, make your prospect makes a small purchases, purchase schedules demo to your customer. Okay. Now we go to excite stage. Okay, so masaya si ate, no? Ano kaya tong excite stage? So excite, excite stage is where we build an excitement to our customers. So pag ma-receive nila yung product, 
pag ma-receive nila yung product, they will become excited. Wow! Ano kayo nakaloob sa box? Maganda ba? Matibay? Quality ba? Etc. So, with that, you can you can give your customer a memorable experience. Okay. So, parang, uh, yes, they would remember that throughout eternity na yung nabili nila is very valuable to them. Ang ganda ng kulay, bagay sa kanila, and etc. So, how do we do it? Bonus features that surprise and delight them. So, pwede rin, no? So, aside from uh, their orders na bag lang, no? Merong wallet sa loob na hindi mo naman talaga in-expect. Na super ganda din. Okay. So, offering a quick start guide. This is for services o sa mga freelancers. Pwede rin. To provide them <coughs> a tips or a real product of your service. No? Na may sobrang ganda ng, ng value. And offer genuine and quality products. For me, this is number one. No? Kahit wala ka ng bonus, wala ka ng bonus features, pag ang product mo ay quality, tapos affordable lang siya, and that, that will create a memorable experience to them. And also, that will make them excited kasi bagay sa kanila. Okay? So, that's the excited stage. Uh, and yes, the excited stage is the aha moment. Where a ah means wonder. Wow. Um, they are wondering, oh, ano ba kaya to? Ano, maganda kaya to? No? Uh, quality kaya to? Super, um, makakatulong kaya to sa business ko if you're offering a service. No? So, the aha moment will be the understanding. Ah, kaya pala. Okay, kaya pala ganito ang presyo. Matibay naman pala. Ah, kaya naman pala uh, ganito yung flow kasi talaga nga naman makakatulong sa aking business. Okay, so questions you're gonna ask yourself is what your customer need to believe it's true. Okay, what needs to happen to trigger this aha moment? Okay, so kafalo alam ko you have different kinds of products and services so kayo ang mas makakano you you know better what is the what is the aha moment that you can give to your customers okay so we now proceed to the ascent stage <coughs> okay so in here before we proceed to the ascent stage the excite stage where um your customer gets actual value from the initial transaction Okay, so kasi dito sa convert stage natin, your prospect or customers only make a small purchase and then uh, when they open the product or they experience the product, they get the value. Okay, so when you know that they are excited and you really give value uh, to their product with this excited stage, you now proceed to the ascent stage where you offer an upsell or an upgrade. So, okay. So, ano ba itong ascend stage natin? No? <coughs> First real purchase takes place daw. Okay. So, andito na yung core offer mo. Andito talaga yung pinaka-offer mo. No? Andito talaga yung uh, gusto mong um, i-push sa kanila. So, begin to upsell your offer. Okay. Upselling where people spend more uh, by buying an upgrade. Okay. So, ito yung core offer mo. Kapag gusto nila mag-upgrade, mas masarap, mas maganda, mas, mas uh, dagdag uh, customize ang color, ito yung upsell number one mo. Okay. Of course, with an upgrade, mas uh, higher din yung price mo with the basic package. Okay. So, make them a multi-buyer as well. Para bibili sila ng upsell one mo, bibili din sila ng upsell number two mo. So, how do we do it? So, generate repeat buys. Okay offering different products at the same time. Okay, so just in case na you are a, a, a big shop, <coughs> aside from a big shop, meron ka ding milk tea. Okay, so you can cross-sell kasi na-experience na nila yung, yung, yung cakes mo and pastries. Maybe yung milk, tea din, yung milk tea mo masarap din. Okay, and all with your other products at the same time. Okay, so, like I've said a while ago, sa ascent stage will be your core offer, upsell 1, upsell 2, and your cross-selling or cross-sell. Now, we proceed to the advocate stage. Okay, so what, ano nga ba tong advocate stage natin? So, for your customers, please ask them to uh, write a testimonials on, on your social media platform. 
of our social media accounts okay so this is a social proof or a customer story okay magandang social proof ito kafalo kasi when your customers make a positive and, and uh, build excitement in their testimonials na ang ganda at quality ang products mo you build authority kafalo you build authority on the market and uh, nabibuild yung trust at multiply yung trust okay so you can also make social media contests at the same time company profile and about the products how do we do it okay Bo uh, okay bonus features and offering a quick start guide gaya din no isang stage kanina okay now in the advocate stage successful customer gives a review testimonial and case study so eto pag nag review na or nag testimony na yung mga uh, customers niyo or yung mga visitors niyo or whatever nandun na sila sa advocate stage uh, they are advocating your product they might dito nangyayari ka follow yung mas maraming bentahan okay kasi when you experience yung product mo they will buy hindi mo na sila kailangan pang i-convince kasi convince na sila okay so sorry so we'll go now to the promote stage okay. so actually parang medyo may pagka similarity si promote stage at si advocacy si advocate stage no but um, for the promote stage essentially an advocate who are promoting your products okay so ito yung mga nasa promote stage but yung ginagawa nila is to generate referrals okay so referrals create awareness Okay, so pag nag-refer sila, Teka nga, masubukan nga yung sinasabi ni Kumare. Masarap daw eh. Teka nga, masubukan nga si um, yung services ni bla bla bla. Mukhang ang laki ng increase ng sales ko eh. Okay, now they become aware. They will now go back to the, uh, no, no. They will now start from the, to the awareness stage. Mag-uumpi mag sila ulit sila doon ka, kafalan where they will become aware na you are there to help them. Okay, so how do we do it? Make your customers successful. So yun. Okay? <coughs> yun ang number one kafalo. Uh, Igaguide mo sila ng mabuti at on every stage, dapat, dapat satisfied sila on their customer value chain. So that at the end of the line or at the end of your roadmap, they will become a successful customers and then they will promote your products. Okay? Right. So, this is the whole picture of your roadmap. Here, the customer value journey. Okay? So, I believe some of you here, nakadagdag sa kanilang pwedeng maging strategy, no? Na hindi lang tayo magpo-focus sa three stages of the sales funnel. Okay. So, meron pa pala siyang iba pwede pang gawin para mas maging ang uh, maging successful ang inyong e-commerce business. Okay? Now, that's the end of my presentation. Thank you so much, mga ka-follow. And, yes, please tune in and watch for the other um, <coughs> tutorials and lectures on social media, FB ads, and chat. Thank you.